Welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Radhika Mamidi from IIIT Hyderabad. I will be talking about dialog systems. It is a very important application in natural language processing. This is a part of the linguistics course that all of you will be taking. Uh, so this module talks about dialog systems and there are some uh, topics related to dialog system like types of dialog system, architecture, issues in building dialog system, what are the dialog modeling can be captured using human-human dialog and also an annotation schema we'll be looking at that is called Dialog Act, uh, Damsel Dialog Act representation. So in all we'll be first looking at dialog per se. So what is a dialog? A dialog could be an interaction between more than two parties. It can be a multi-party interaction or it mostly when we are talking about dialog system we are talking about two people. So dialogue could be between two people, dialogue could be between computer and a system com or dialogue can be between a computer and a computer. So let us look at some examples. What What is the goal of a dialogue? For example, if you look at two people talking, say Ethan and Julie, what do they talk about? So they talk about politics, that is the goal is to exchange ideas or they can be talking about how to solve a problem. So goal is to try to solve a problem which includes negotiation and other things. Or it could be a random chit chat which has which is not goal oriented. So but when it comes to natural language dialogue, we today's world we look at the social media has become a very important tool in using uh, for communication systems. So for example, we have uh, earlier we used to have landline, now we have mobile phone with many apps. We have chat, email, different modes of communication, which can be, uh, the input could be speech or uh, typed text or a menu based, gesture based. And the output again could be speech, text, uh, graphical display or animated body. So basically, uh, natural language dialogue includes uh, utterances, exchange of utterances, but the interaction should be coherent, Not, uh, but in casual conversations it could be uh, goalless. It can have more than one participant. So basically for a coherent interaction, the speaker's intention and the hearer's inference become very important. Now all these things are taken into consideration while building a dialogue system. So in this module we'll be looking at the challenges that one faces while building a dialogue system. When we are talking about uh, in speaker's intention, for example, we have the same utterance, do you know the time? And depending on the context, the inferences can be different. The speaker should have the correct context to understand what the intention of the speaker was. For example, do you know the time? This is an utterance. In one context, it means the hearer wants to know the time actually. In another context, it could be that the hearer is telling that the other person should hurry up. So basically we are talking of two things, sentence meaning and speaker meaning, which may or may not match. Now, for this a proper understanding where the hearer draws the correct inference from the user's utterance, two things become important. One, the contextual knowledge and the other, world knowledge. Both of them should be shared between the speaker and hearer. So this will contribute towards a proper interaction with coherent interaction. Now when we come to human-human communication, we talk about pragmatic competence, that is the speaker should have a shared knowledge about each other, the background knowledge about each other, also about the situ situations and also they should have knowledge about the social distance, social status between the speakers involved, the cultural knowledge such as politeness and the linguistic knowledge which could be implicit as well as explicit. 
Now, what is the challenge in building dialogue systems then? Challenge in dialogue systems are in computing dialogues. Developing human computer interactive systems based on human human interactions. So, before we go deeply into dialogue systems, let me just introduce the background. I hope all of you know about discourse analysis and pragmatics. Now, dialogue system becomes a part of computational pragmatics. So, what is computational pragmatics? Computational pragmatics studies from an explicitly computational point of view how relations between linguistic phenomena and the context of use govern speakers' abilities to interpret and generate utterances in conversation. In other words, how to compute the relations in terms of explicit representations. Computational pragmatics deals with giving linguistic expressions how to compute the relevant contextual properties or given a particular context, how to compute the relevant linguistic expression. So basically computational pragmatics is dealing with the relation between linguistic expressions and a contextual information. Now computational pragmatics uh, is a very challenging field and one of the applications of this field is dialogue systems. So as we had seen earlier, dialogue systems they are able to interact with human users in natural language. They help us in making decisions on how to deal in a computational way with all phenomena related to language use. So what is a dialogue system? It is an artificial agent like robo or a computer system that can interact with human beings. It helps us understand the nature of dialogue and test theories. It helps us understanding the collaborative nature of interaction. It also helps us access information and services more efficiently. Now, dialogue systems, the first one that we had seen was ELISA. So ELISA is a, a simple Rogerian psychologist. It uses pattern matching to carry on limited form of conversation. It gives a general feeling that it is human and it appears to have passed the Turing test. It is one of the first chatbot and when it came out in 1960s, it was a very successful phenomenon with respect to artificial intelligence. What is the Turing test? Turing test involves three components, machine, human and human judge. The judge asks questions of computer and human. Machine's job is to act like a human and human's job is to convince judge that he is not the machine. The machine is judged intelligent if it can fool the judge. So the judge of intelligence is linked to appropriate answers to questions from the system. So Joseph Weizenbaum in 1966 developed this ELISA chatbot, but today we have many chatbots of advanced nature. If you look at this chatbot, my automated conversation coach, it's called MAN. It helps people overcome social phobia. Then today we have many more chatbots. Uh, you must have seen Siri, Cortana, Google Now, IBM Watson. All of them which help you uh, find information about restaurants, hospitals, or uh, shopping centers nearby around you. All of them have this dialogue component in them. So what are the uses of dialogue systems? The phone based dialogue systems help you get timetable information or flight booking information. Personal assistants like Siri or Cortana help you understand user needs and tasks. Then in education it is used for intelligent tutoring. Then we have embodied conversational agents which uses uh, physical and facial gestures as well. Then we also have intelligent, uh, intelligent uh, dialogue systems which help us in uh, smart homes or smart cars. They understand and behave according to the situations and activities. Coming to types of dialogue systems, the available types of dialogue systems are interactive, voice systems like the one we see in uh, railway inquiry where we accomplish the task by pressing certain numbers 
in question answering systems example start a web based qa system answering users questions on movies places people etc then we also have natural language interfaces which are uh, popular in tutoring systems or trip planning systems basically dialogue systems can be categorized as task oriented or restricted to a domain or a general domain and the basic phenomena that one looks for in dialogue system is the one that is easier to implement ultimate goal to have dialogue systems is to have one that talks like human beings displaying intelligence in understanding the complex cognitive structure of language in simple words dialogue systems have to be like humans talking like humans and thinking like humans and responding like humans so currently uh, dialogue uh, domains are in travel transport business car navigation health related inquiries or just any online information access we can divide uh, dialogue systems as two types single initiative system and mixed initiative system in single initiative system the one of them say human or a system guide the user to a series of scripted prompts so here the system is basically asking questions and the user is providing answers in mixed initiative system both the system and human have equal role of uh, turn taking so they are cooperative and the responses are flexible according to the user's queries example uh, the available systems that talk about restaurants or weather domains so this is a simple architecture of a dialogue system of a, actually a spoken dialogue system so we have a uh, automated speech recognition system then a uh, dialogue manager language understanding module language generator module then domain manager and finally text to speech module so basically the user utterance is converted into text and then it is sent to the language understanding module where the basic language analysis is done then once the idea is comprehended then some information is taken from domain manager and then the response is again generated using uh, language generator tools and the output is in a natural language form which is converted into speech using the tts tool so the input is in speech form and the output is also speech form now this can be just plugged in but otherwise we have text to text dialogue systems also so the basic tasks of a dialogue manager would be to maintain and update context decide what to do next and it also provides a good interface for back end or for tasks it also provides expectations for interpretation now in this module uh, we will be focusing on language understanding now language understanding because the input is in language natural language it needs basic parsing so the speech or at the word level we are assuming all the parses are done and then at the pragmatic level it becomes important to capture the intention of the user and spoken language may also have other things like intonation that also has to be captured so every speech act is associated with a single utterance that has to be captured by the language understanding module then after uh, uh, capturing the intention it becomes important to identifying it with the task associated now there are other things that happens in within language understanding module like anaphora resolution or ellipsis grounding clarification all of them are utilized so that the 
output sounds very natural as if it's a human being giving the response now though the natural language understanding module looks pretty uh, with all the components intact still the dialogue systems become a challenge in being formulated and why because we want natural language systems or uh, natural language dialogue systems to be as natural like a human being now why it becomes difficult then because human language is complex and ambiguous we speak utterances without meaning what they may say like for example uh, the speaker may have a negative answer in mind but the sentence may be positive so most of the times we answer things indirectly now language understanding needs contextual and general knowledge apart from linguistic knowledge so basically the speaker and hearer should have shared knowledge and now all this representation uh, computationally becomes a challenge so uh, here are some examples uh, which shows human language is complex and ambiguous for example when shot at the dog dove into the bushes now if you look at the spellings d o v e both of them look the same but one is a noun and the other is a verb and the pronunciation changes according to the context but in the next example again the part of speech are different for invalid the insurance was invalid for the invalid so here you see that the part of speech of both are different and the pronunciation is the same the meanings are different similarly you have other words like d o e s the buck does funny things when the doors are present or upon seeing the tear in the painting i shed that tear so all of this show that according to the context the pronunciation is changing the part of speech is changing all the meanings are changing now these things the ambiguity is very easy for a human being to parse when it comes to a system the system should handle these things and the, the related modules should be efficient in doing this because the output of one system becomes input of the other so if there is an error in the output in the analysis part the mistake gets carried forward now this is a model of language processing where you see that uh, lexical processing syntactic processing semantic processing discourse processing all of them takes simultaneously they are not in a linear order but they the processing happens simultaneously and it also takes in information from our memory so so that cloud is our brain where the memory stores the lexicon syntactic rules semantic rules and discourse rules now this kind of language processing model is needed in building computational models so let us look at a dialogue model so these are the two important approaches pattern based approach and plan based approach and uh, all of them use some kind of linguistic knowledge as well as artificial intelligence in building dialogue systems this is the framework given by james allen which uses techniques that are very simple to the most complex ones so finite state script frame based sets of contexts plan based and agent based so if you look at this all of them have different uh i mean different uses depending on the task they are being employed finite state script is the easiest one it uh, the user answers questions whereas in frame based again user ask questions and uh, the system also takes uh, also has a clarification module and uh, there is some interaction between system and user for the task completion then sets of context is where the shift between predetermined topics take place and plan based models there is a certain kind of negotiation that happens between the speaker and the hearer
Agent based task is more complicated. It works according to the mod different modalities in the real world. And according to James Allen, these are the intelligent agent components. That is, uh, intelligent uh, dialogue system should have these components if it wants to be like a human being. Perception, beliefs, desires, planning, commitment, intentions, and acting to accomplish a given task. Now, for all these things, because we want dialogue systems to be like a uh, human, human conversational agent. So we see that it needs data. And uh, for this purpose, data is collected in the form of conversations between two humans. Or uh, it is collected using Wizard of O system where one of the human beings pretend to be a computer or it can also be conversations between the uh, chatbot, uh, human and the system. Now for this there is an annotation schema which is used based on speech acts. Cell speech acts uh, are assertives, directives, commissives, expressives, declarations. Based on this, this damsel annotation schema was developed. Damsel is nothing but dialogue act markup in several layers. It has four components, communicative status, where uh, it talks about the utterance, whether it is clear, whether the utterance is meaningful, whether the utterance is fulfilled or full utterance. Then the content within the utterance is at the information level. And then there are two functions that are marked, forward-looking function and backward-looking function, where the context is taken into consideration. This is an example conversation which has taggings according to the damsel annotation schema. I think we should meet soon is a suggestion. Yeah, agreement. How about tomorrow? A suggestion. Tomorrow I'm busy. Indirectly, the person is saying so, that it is a negation to the suggestion given. And then the negotiation begins. So at each stage, at the each utterance is given a dialogue act. And uh, this dialogue act helps in building better dialogue systems. So this is a sample of a dialogue act schema. Now, challenges in building dialogue systems come at every stage, as we had seen at uh, word level, sentence level, or uh, discourse level. Now, even at the basic thing that we had started this talk of recognizing intention and making proper inference. So we have an example here. It is cloudy is an utterance. Now, at each stage, in depending on the context, the dialogue act may be different. Lend me your umbrella it is cloudy. Here it is cloudy means a request. Don't water the plants now. It is cloudy. So the utterance is a warning. It will rain today. It is cloudy, an assertion. So similarly, if you look at inferences, the speaker says something which may not be derived from the actual meaning of the sentence. So now the hearer should have full contextual information or the shared contextual information to draw the proper inference. So as we have seen, dialogue system becomes a very important part of our everyday life. Now with all uh, existing applications like CV, Cortana or IBM Watson, we see that they have become a very important part and they are very handy. They are part of your mobile phone, which is like next to your skin, which you carry all the time. So here in NLP, dialogue system has become a very important thing. And to build dialogue system, we take in inputs from linguistics. And uh, from linguistics, basically, pragmatics form the basis of computational pragmatics. And dialogue allows to explore novel challenges in building language technologies. So as we have seen that human-human dialogue helps in building this computer user dialogue systems. So 
but we have to be very careful because in human human dialogue there are lots of errors but we don't want them to be incorporated in human system dialogue similarly uh, the goal of a dialogue system is to be very dynamic mixed initiative multi domain and multi party interactions we don't want it to be a single initiative system where the computer just directs the user to press certain buttons we want the system to be more interactive so the challenges are in handling pragmatic and discourse related issues like we had seen in recognizing intention or uh, drawing inferences apart from that there are other linguistic issues like anaphora resolution ellipsis handling then also uh, trying to understand the utterances of the user and uh, responding accordingly and uh, most of the dialogue systems today are in english we want to have dialogue systems in indian languages as well so for this the indian linguistics has to be studied very well and hopefully uh, one day we will have dialogue systems as many as we have languages in india thank you